for some of my videos so I'll be driving and have fun. Almost at the bus, so I'll be with some number of people who watch it. That's not your show. I'll be seeing your life now. Yeah. Okay. guys I hope everybody is doing good I'm back again that's my second video for the day please forgive my voice I lost my voice and I told you why um, in this video we're gonna talk about how uh, uh, an African woman okay who came from uh, Ghana the country of Ghana some time back Came to Canada to study in a college. I'm about to go into a tunnel. My connection might be unstable, so just give me some few minutes, a uh, few seconds. Let me get out of this tunnel, and then after that, we will continue. So just hang in there, okay? If you're a parent trying to bring your child who has completed junior high school to a Canadian secondary school, this video is for you, okay? might be unstable. When I first came here, I didn't know what was on top, so I used to think it is uh, uh, a friend is saying, uh, a train that goes on top of it. And later, yeah, I came cool. to realize, yeah. Ships go on top of it. So here we are. Um, is it possible for somebody to bring their daughter or their son who just finished junior high school in an African country or in any other part of the world to study in Canada? The answer is yes. It's an area that I must admit I don't have a lot of information. So today that I've gotten the opportunity to bring you this information, please make the most of it. Um, it gives me the opportunity to also learn about this particular area of study and I hope this video helps somebody out there Okay, all right, so madam You first came to Canada To study as a what at what level? So I came to Canada when I was 16 years So um, so I was 16. I, I went through the British system in Ghana so I went to a private school in Ghana where they do the O levels and the A levels right right okay so O levels and A levels will basically be like the SS1 SS2 in Ghana if I'm not I'm not really um you know privy to that okay that, right well, but what I did mm -hmm. the school I went to was I did form four form five so after that you do O levels then you go to sixth form you do upper six, lower six, and then to the university, okay? So in Ghana, two people finish SS1, SS2, SS3, then to university, okay? okay. Good. So I finished O-levels, which was Form 4, Form 5. So I would think it's um, SS1, mm -hmm. SS2. Okay. Okay. So let, so our SS3 is lower six, upper six. It's, been, it's in two. Okay. Do you get it? So... When I was about to go to, let's say, SS3, mm -hmm. lower six, upper six, I came to Canada. My parents sent me to Canada to boarding school. To come and study here? To come and study. Let's pause there. We are going to go into the details of that. Now, which school did you go to in Ghana? In Ghana, I was at Ghana International School. Ghana International School, yeah. GIS. Yes. Which is considered an international private, like an right. private it's school. Right, a British Which uh, runs system. on the British curriculum in Ghana. Right. All right. right. That is why you did the O level. Yes, okay. O level. Now, for those who are watching, they might be thinking that you you schooled in the eighties and nineties. You know, <laughs> that's the time that people did O level. Yeah. Now, what time did you? Are you talking about back in Ghana when so, you were in, 
like doing All this levels, at GIS? So, yes, when I was in GIS, I was um, it was 2000 and 2004. 2004. That was so when you were. So 2004, five, six. That's when around so that time. So between 2004, 2005, five, 2006, yes, when secondary school. Yes. Yes. Doing your British curriculum at Ghana International School yes. in Ghana, private international school in Ghana. Yes. That operates on the British curriculum, yes. not the Ghanaian model. No. They use the British curriculum. Yeah. And normally they say people who go to such schools, they normally travel. So it's not surprising that you ended up traveling, right? Yes. Your parents I decided <laughs> that they wanted you to come and continue your education in Canada. In Canada, yes. All right. When you, when you come and study in Canada, you have to decide where to study, which type of uh, school to go to. We have different types of schools in Canada. Yeah. Uh, run us through the different kinds of schools. Okay. You came at the age of 16, right? Yeah, when I came out, I was 16. Okay. So it was basically like going to like a boarding school in Ghana, right? Because, mm. yeah, Ghana, you go to boarding school when you're like well, 14, 15, 16. Okay. Yes. Yeah. So when I came out, I was 16, I was in boarding school. And um, yeah, so in Canada, I came as an international student because I wasn't born in Canada. Mm -hmm. So I came with a Ghanaian passport with international student visa, study permit, visa, permit okay. right? That's what's called. And I came to school. Mm -hmm. So um, I came to a private school mm. in Canada, a private boarding school. A private boarding, boarding secondary, secondary school. school. Yeah, but my school actually had primary to, I mean, not primary, but it had from grade seven, I believe. Grade so grade six. seven would be J JSS1, yes, junior like, high school yes, level one. Like, yeah, okay. so they had that. <clears throat> so they had kids from different countries coming oh, in. Oh, yes, so, so it's an international school. So in Africa, we had a lot of Africans too, Ghana, Nigerians, um, Kenyans. Okay. We had some white Canadians. Mm -hmm. I mean, Canadians from Canada. We had Americans. We had British. We had Chinese. Different had, accents. Yeah, different <laughs> accents. So then it gave me, so I was opportuned to meet students from different parts of the world. Mm. I mean, I went to GIS. There were a lot of international national students most of the kids there were expats right mm -hmm. kids of expatriates so mm -hmm. you meet them but it wasn't on the level okay as the kids i met here in canada so they're different ukrainians you meet every type of person every type of person from every part of the world right okay. but yes yeah. so so yeah <clears throat> so in canada they have um three types of schooling system they have the at the secondary level secondary elementary elementary secondary, secondary okay. elementary is what um jss uh, no elementary, elementary will be one, from class, class two, one all the way to six. jss yes right i yeah. think jss will be to part GSS, of yes yeah, elementary so, and okay. then high school is the high school high school is like be secondary, secondary in, school in, for us in west yes, africa uh -huh, okay. like the ss1 ss2 okay so in canada they have the uh, public schools mm -hmm. they have three streams we have public we have private we mm -hmm. have um the catholic three three, three types streams. of schools at the elementary and secondary school level yes we have public, public schools we have the catholic we have catholic schools we have private okay, can you explain this so, so that those okay. who don't understand so the public schools are basically it's being funded by the government it's free for everybody it's free for everybody for okay. all canadians all permanent residents kids or kids born in canada who are permanent residents who are canadians and even in the public schools they also have public schools that are called french immersion that one they teach the kids french okay okay so we have public schools where the kid they teach kids french from grade one Okay. It doesn't matter which part of Canada, even in Ontario, the English speaking parts, they, they teach the kids um, French. So your child goes there and then when the child comes out, the child is bilingual because they can communicate in French and in um, in English. Yeah, that's so what we do. have our child actually called <clears throat> Joanna. Uh -huh. So Joanna is doing yeah. French immersion. She's good. doing French. Good. So <coughs> it, it's, it's a very good program some of the and then we have so the public school is fully funded by the government mm -hmm. and then the catholic school is also fully funded by the government okay i love the the the, the catholic schools because I mean, I'm, I'm not a fan of kids wearing home clothing to go to school okay i like a child being in uniform 
Okay. Then going to school. And the Catholics, you know Catholics, even in Ghana, they are very strict. They the are very strict. They are very strict. They will so give you a prescriber good. tat to wear. Everybody wears the same clothes. Everybody wears the same color same of clothes. Same thing, mm -hmm. everything. And they, um, what do you call it? They are strict. They use the Bible Christian principles to teach and groom the kids in school. Okay. Right, but in the Catholic way, in the, the Roman Catholic, Catholic way, the Roman Catholic right, way, right? Okay. Good. So that is so, for the Catholic school. They have the a prescribed schools. uniform for everybody, right? And then it is religious it's based. It's religious based. Okay. So I love that you they are strict, okay. and, right? So, okay. um, and they also have the French. Depending on the type of Catholic school you take your child to, some of them also have the French immersion program. Okay. Okay, they also have the French immersion program. So some of them to also teach the kids French. Meaning that Catholic schools by where they, they teach, teach their kids French. only French. Uh -huh. They teach French and English. The French and English, but so they, they can be by exactly. anyone. Exactly. So your okay. child goes through that stream. Know that mm -hmm. a child is going to be speaking French. French and in and Canada, English. French is key because is key. you become marketable. You get all the government jobs. They, mm -hmm. they prefer bilinguals, okay. right? Good. Then we have the private. Private. So note that public and then and the Catholic is all funded by the government. Mm. The only difference is one is Roman Catholic, right? Mm -hmm. and, and the other, other is, is secular. Secular, right? Okay. That's the word. You are, you can wear any clothes you, you want. You wear your home dress. The kids and can go. wear anything. Mini yes. skirt, mini skirt, skirt, anything. That's daddy what I don't skirt. like. That. <laughs> I don't like it. <laughs> Do you get it? Yeah. I hope you guys are getting the differences, uh -huh. right? I don't like that thing, mm. way, but it works for everyone. Okay. Everyone, yeah. Some people do not want to take their kids to the Catholic because they believe maybe they are not Catholic. They are not religious. Uh -huh. they are not so Christians. they don't want to put their kids through that. Right. So they send them to the public. To the public. And with the public, it's free. The, All of them are free. The kids can wear any anything. clothes they want. They can wear t-shirt. They can wear trousers. They anything. can wear jeans. Anything they want. And to. go to school. But Catholic, right? there is a uniform. Yeah, there's a uniform. Right. Good. The, the then private. we come to the private. So the private is about the money. <laughs> Mm. Private is considered as the the ones for the rich kids. Okay. Because the rich people want the best for their kids, mm -hmm. right? They want the best for their kids. So it's about your pockets. That's when we talk about paying thirty thousand a year, forty thousand, fifty thousand dollars a year. Wow, forty thousand a year, fifty thousand a year. Depending on the Depending type. Depending on the type of, of school of you go to. School, yes. So the public school so the private schools you don't have a lot of kids mm. do you get it in the class mm -hmm. maybe they do a ratio of maybe one teacher to about 15 kids in a class mm -hmm. or you, you get it or 20 kids one to 20 student student teacher the ratio, ratio is right, very very is less very very low okay so they they, they get time for your kids mm. because you're paying money so yeah. you, you expect the best from from your child right mm -hmm. so the, the yeah security wise especially if their child is in boarding obviously you're going to pay more because the child is in boarding mm. feeding and everything is all part of the tuition the, okay the, the school fees so yeah so um what was i saying so the private school is is you don't have a lot of kids mm -hmm. very small very size, small size and quality, quality of ed education good mm -hmm. So if it takes someone, if you take your child to a French immersion um, private school, to know mm -hmm. that you know your child is going to be speaking French when no. the child is out, or will be bilingual. Bilingual. Okay. They they believe the kids do the whole um, what do you call it um, extracurricular activity. Mm -hmm. They do sports. They do everything. They learn mm -hmm. instruments. So you have a child. Some like I had to learn how to play the piano because I had the interest, right? Wow! But I didn't even take it serious. But you have to, you have, you to, have to learn a skill. You, you, yeah, you do that. So you know how to play the piano. I, my dad plays it, but I can play by ear. But I didn't take it serious. Will you teach me? I can't, please. Okay, we'll talk about that later on. <laughs> yeah. So, okay. yeah. So, so, so you, a you do that, mm -hmm. and then you, swimming. Do you get it? Mm -hmm. The thing is, you are paying a lot of money. Okay. So these schools to have programs that are enticing that will let you bring your kids. Okay. So yes, and the thing too is about is it, the private schools too. They actually take time to take care of the kids mm -hmm. to teach them all. So chances of going to the best universities is high. high in the private. In the private. Okay. Chances. Is like, high. like best universities in Canada, in Canada, and in, in America, US. in the world. In the world, I have some of my friends that went to Ivy League universities. Ivy League universities, right okay. from that. And then I went to University of Toronto in Canada, which is one of the best. One of the best schools U of T. In Canada. In Canada. Yeah, I went to U of T. Yeah. Some of them went to McGill. So, do you get it? Yeah. So, 
right and the thing is i wasn't i, I i'm okay i'm an okay student mm -hmm. i'm not an a plus plus like mm -hmm. a nerd mm -hmm. but what i liked about my school is your teachers come down to your level okay and make time for you mm -hmm. if you are slacking in any way you would catch up Do you okay. get the thing is if you've made up your mind to study they are there to help you they are there to support you, Do you get you? it okay. good so um, i i think that's some of the pros of the private, of the private. But the trade-off here is that the fees could be expensive. The, it is, it's crazy. It's you mentioned expensive. that it could be as high as fifty thousand dollars. Yes, it could be year. high as fifty thousand. There's mm. a school here in the Niagara region, and that's mm. a lot. Because I was could, looking for schools for for, for your for my, cousin, your for, your sister. Yeah, no, for my cousin. He's okay. actually coming in, and even for my son, because my son is starting school. So I was even considering, mm. but I'm like, you know what? He's only now entering school. Why do I have to go and throw? A lot of money, you know, yeah. And he's Canadian. At least enjoy the free education of the Canadian. Know, so I like the Catholic. So he's going to go through the Catholic, the Catholic route. School, okay. So maybe high school, by God's grace, if I have the money, I'll put him through okay. private to okay. get it. Okay. Good. So, and the thing too is, I always say that it, 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 it depends on the parents mm -hmm. and then the child. You have to look at the strength of your child. We have kids that are naturally smart. Wherever you put them, they will excel. You just have to play your part as a parent okay. to help. Whether it's private or Catholic or whatever, when the child comes back home, you have to help the child. Mm. Do you get it? Mm -hmm. See to it that he's under homework, she's on her homework assignment, she's catching up, participating in school events, PTAs, going for meetings, interacting with teachers, just to know. You have to be concerned about the well-being and academic you know, journey of your child because you want the best for your child, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so I, I think when parents do that, I mean, we have kids who went through the public and Catholic, who, are, who also went to the McGill's and went to the U of T's mm -hmm. and went to the Harvard's and mm -hmm. the rest, right? Mm -hmm. Yes, but the, the private is for maybe you have some money, so you want the best for your child. Yeah. Do you get it? Yeah, so. In your case, yeah. you, were, you came here at the age of 16. Yes. You came to a private school. Yeah. Do you remember how much you, your parents hmm. were paying at that time, around that time for you? At that time, 2005, 2006, I think they were paying about 25000 a year. 25000 a that year. Was a that, that was then. in 2005. Five, six, I wanted to pay attention seven. to the timeline. Yeah, time. 2005, she 2005 was paying about 25000 a year yeah. in the secondary school, yeah. which is a private secondary boarding school. school yeah. Private boarding. So, it wasn't just the school fees. Your accommodation and everything accommodation, was all included food. in this. Food yes. was also included, which is and a good deal. they actually gave us good food. I, I, I don't because, know, yeah. think about this. The average college fee here is about 15000 17000 yeah. a year. But it doesn't include accommodation. Yeah. It doesn't include food. food yeah. But basically, in a private, if you are paying twenty five, thirty thousand, 30000 you know your child's food is covered. You know your child's Fish. accommodation is covered. Uniform. School fees, is, uniform is all covered. Security. Materials, books. Yeah, books, they also everything. give you books yeah, and stuff. They give us books and it all of that of is it. in the fee. So basically, when you pay that money, everything is it's included. Covered, yeah. Now, how was it for you? Because you mentioned that one of the ways that you could have a parent could have a successful child or a ward mm. at the secondary level in Canada as an international student yeah. is to be involved in their growth, yeah. making sure they do the assignments. How was it? Because those times, 2000 something, there was no WhatsApp. Yeah, yeah. There was no video calling. Yeah. yeah. How was your parent? How what was it for your parents? Yeah. How were they my, I, doing I come that for from you? From a home where my parents are very strict. Okay. And I'm the first child. Okay, you so, are the first child of your parents, so yeah, they have so their at eyes. At the time that mm -hmm. I was coming, imagine sending your first child to a country that I mean, my dad had come to work in Canada from Ghana before. Okay. Before mm -hmm. when we were kids, so he wasn't even from too familiar, familiar with, Canada with the, like that. With Canada, okay. So initially, he wanted me to go to the UK to an all girls um, boarding school. But I had older cousins who had come through this boarding school. This so, very boarding school. Yes. Yeah, so my cousins were here. Older mm. cousins who were very responsible and were doing good well. kids. Good kids. Mm -hmm. And my yes. Yeah, so, so what happened? I mean, it's, I I can't say every parent has to do that. It depends on the kind of money you have. Mm. So being the first child. Um, my parents actually sacrificed a lot. My mom used to visit every three, four months. Oh, wow. Yeah. Every three, four months. My mom would come to Canada. To come and visit you. To come. So sometimes she was also at that time doing her master's. Mm. She was doing an executive MBA in the US, right? So I think they used to come 
to the US every like quarter. Oh, so that gave her the opportunity to, to get her swing the by opportunity to and come. see in Canada. Yeah, so she will come. And I also had, like I said, I had cousins here who were keeping an eye on me. Okay. My parents also, my mom was intentional. Mm -hmm. She put me, she went to church with me, went to see the church I went to, handed me over to my pastor. Your pastor my pastors, in Canada. In Canada. Hey. <laughs> Pastor, That's a good mom there. The, the pastor and the family. You don't miss no then, church on Sunday. Pastor is going to turn your mom back on. <laughs> and also, um, they do it on me. Um, when, when I say that, what I mean is with my academics, because it was a private school, they had a way, I don't know how it is with the public and um, Catholic schools, but they had a way of tracking my my performance in school, oh. my assignment. So my mm -hmm. dad, like I said, my dad is very strict. He can't go in through almost thirty thousand dollars overseas and then <laughs> no don't care about your child's performance in school, right? I see. So yeah. he would always log in to my accounts. He had my login. Oh, he had your login. Yes, he even could log into your account to see your performance. Yes, and parents, I want you to listen. <laughs> he, huh? he did if that. you bring your child here, you need to have access to their online academic and, yeah, yeah. record. You should be able to log in from Africa and see their performance, homework, yeah. submission, blah yes. blah blah. If <laughs> if you are not doing it, you are seeing everything right from right. there. And, and it, oh yes, one thing too about the school was because I, I obviously I, we are Africans, right? So we, they yeah. had a recruiter, not a recruiter. She was in charge of the African students. Mm, student, okay. School. So we had somebody who was African. We had somebody who was Asian. We had somebody who was Canadian. To be able to connect with the students from the and different countries. And this was the one that was actually going to various African countries to have to basically sell the school to so market I, the school to, market to attract to school. right so I remember I never went there but I heard during my time they used to come to um what hotel did they have in Ghana like that was it Golden Tulip or somewhere most likely Golden Tulip or Fiesta Royale one yes, of, the, one of, one of those, those big hotels yeah they went mm. to do you see sometimes they have these university and school fairs mm -hmm. uh -huh. so they came there and then mm -hmm. yeah, but i didn't go there because i heard about the school through my cousins my mm -hmm. uncle mm -hmm. yes yes so yeah so my parents my dad especially had access to my um school accounts okay. students accounts mm -hmm. was keeping track mm -hmm. and check of my performance why did you get this why did you get this grade why, what's going on uh -huh. do you need help blah, blah, blah. and another thing too was they had um, a good relationship with the woman, mm -hmm. the woman, the African woman, and luckily she was Ghanaian. Okay. In the school. Okay. Do you get it? So, eh, I don't want to kill them, crowd. Eh. <laughs> so that woman became like my second mother. Your second mother on campus. <laughs> on campus. Mm. Do you get it? She was, she was actually nice to all the students, all of them. She was very nice to them. So, yeah. So There was no room for you to mess up. It, the thing is, well, how are you going to mess up? That, well, I, is, <laughs> Every parents, three, four months, your mom was coming. <laughs> They were keeping tabs, and I was sixteen. You were we 16, had we yeah. had mature students there too, people that were doing pre-university. Mm. Those were those who are like eighteen and over. Okay. So those ones they didn't have curfew, but I was sixteen. You had so curfews. I had curfew, so that's what I had to say. Yes. There was curfew. Did you? So in the boarding house, you were in the boarding house. Yes. Uh, how many were? You, did you have a room to yourself, or you were so sharing we a room? So two in, a, in a room. Two in one room. Yes. Two okay. In a room. Yeah. And did they have curfew? Like what time you should sleep? Yes. yes what time you should go That one is up to you because you have to wake up and go to school. No, the school bus will pick you, but you just had to learn how to manage your time. Manage your time, right? Okay. But. They would lock the doors, uh, the security. I think one or six. I think it was eight, nine o'clock. The so doors are locked. locked. So, so when you are coming in mm. after let's say eight thirty or nine, at your age, they would know. Because mm. I was sixteen. Yes, yeah, so you can't. Why are you going to at that nine nine p.m.? Why? Okay. So there's something called acts or something. I've forgotten. Mm -hmm. So it's like they will they will mark it on your report. The time that you're you, yeah. you, you and then you actually get punished. It's not like okay. they're going to kill you, but they'll be sending yes, they'll be sending reports to your parents that this is what you did. Blah blah blah. Because okay. the thing is, you can't also blame the school. They want to make sure that you are safe, mm. and they want and to make sure that your parents are comfortable. Are comfortable. Okay. So they tell them everything. Everything. Which is good. I think yeah, I like so that. So if I'm coming to Toronto, when I was coming to Toronto for weekends and my cousins, my parents had to send a, a letter to the school to the school and sign that they are agreeing for they you to go on weekends to visit. Day and day wow, I like that. Going, 
right? And mm. then the person, because I was below 18 years. You're below 18. So if something happens, yes, it's a big... And, mm -hmm, and mm -hmm. then they had to write the name of the person. You are visiting. That was, that was come to coming pick to me pick you up. And where I was going, the where address going. and everything. So wow. On the phone. wow. You see how they organize the system here, right? Yeah. Because she's at the, below the age of 18. Yeah. Every move she makes has to be tracked and yeah. documented. Yeah. Parents have to give permission before she's allowed to. Now, let, let me ask this question. Yes, please. You were there at the secondary school, private school. Yeah. Were there bad kids who were brief finding ways to beat the system? Oh, oh, that one, you see some. But like what? Tell, tell us about some. So that I, I want some parents to hear some of okay, this. Okay, yeah. yeah. So, mm -hmm. so my school, there are kids from everywhere. I had friends with Nigerians, Jamaicans, they're from the Bahamas, everywhere. So you see some of them. Some of them too are not. I think some of them were way older than me. Eight, like the mature students mm -hmm. and some of them to wear my age so okay like i mentioned that somebody has your parents have to send an email some people could forge they could forge their parents, their email. parents okay to, yeah, some people have access to, to their parents things. wow i don't know how they did but people had a way around you know these things if you are a colaboni you find a way to... a colaboni means if you're a bad kid <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah yeah oh sorry yeah your mm -hmm. audience you have different people mm -hmm. so some of them to sign it, do the, you know, as, as though they are the parents themselves signing sign to agree it, for to me agree to go out. To go. And Some then, of them to don't care, they will go out, give them the acts, just punish them. They don't, you know, so we have some kids, I don't care. What do they don't do? care about punishment. They'll come 10, 11, Report and especially parents, Friday night. Yeah, mm. Friday night. Like, I think our curfew was at 9 p.m. Mm. Yeah. So on. Friday night, they will go out and chill. They'll chill. And then come back. Oh, I remember there was some club we cried that was. <laughs> Uh, talk about it, talk about it, talk about it. There was some what? There was a club around. <laughs> Very close to the private school? No, around like the, the, the city. The city, okay. Because uh -huh. uh -huh. so, you know that we have some of the students that came through the private school who are now in university. Okay. G -S -S. Mm -hmm. And some of them to have their siblings in the boarding school. So, so they were So they were, them. you hear about things, oh, we are, we're going here, there's a club here. That there's was an event here, there's a party a club, here. But that was mm -hmm. the first time I, I said, wow. Because mm -hmm. no, where I'm coming from, mm -hmm. I'm going to work. work like my father slap you, are you mad? <laughs> 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 so the first time I remember, I, I said, wow, this life is nice. <laughs> but then you had to go back. You, mm. Like, you were watching time. And me, I was careful because I just didn't want um, a situation where... I think, by God's grace, I was grounded. You were grounded, and I knew okay. where I was coming from. And you knew... Not to say that my, my parents had money to throw, but even they, they, they suffered to... They, they're trying to give you the best, the so best. you're not mm -hmm. going to fail To them. mess them up. Exactly. Mm -hmm. And I remember my mom having come... Every time she calls, remember whose child you are? Remember what, what home you are from? You are representing us there. Do you get it? And, and being the firstborn, I didn't want to mess up. To mess I up. had mm -hmm. two younger ones that were looking up to okay. me. Okay. Do you get it? One so, of them is preparing to come now. The, she's actually in the same. She's actually in medical school. Medical I mean, school, my siblings okay. are old now, okay. so yeah, they are all in Canada. I mean, my brother too is in Canada now. Okay. They are all doing well by those groups. Okay. So, yeah. Which, um, which which secondary? Okay, let's talk about the African kids yeah. in your school there. Yeah. Were most of them also grounded, well disciplined, with a good state of mind, the way you were, I or mean, you you I, saw some that you were worried that. Well, you meet people from different places. Mm. Do you get it? Different backgrounds, different cultural backgrounds. I'm Ghanaian, so me most of my friends were Ghanaians, right? And I, I had some Nigerian. My very good friends. I made that friends and friendship from secondary school here, okay. and we are still friends. We're still friends. Yeah, some of them are Nigerians. I met some people from different parts, but yeah, you see some people you're like, hey, wow. Some of them are like, you know, wild. Wild kids. Yeah. Mm. You can see that wild kids from rich homes, from and rich the thing homes, is, okay. those kids, every child coming in that school was actually from a from good a, home. a good home financially. Yes, financially, okay. Way. Because how are they going to to afford thirty thousand, twenty five thousand? At that time, that yeah, was that money, time. isn't it? Yeah. So, so you meet right. different types of people. Yeah. Which school did you go to? Which private school, secondary school did you go to? This one, if we are giving them free advert, so <laughs> uh, so that they, they want to go to the same school. Okay, can, so it's Columbia, apply. Columbia International College. Columbia International, International College, College. In Columbia. Hamilton. Spelled just like the country Columbia. Uh, yeah, like Columbia. C O, C -O L U M B I A International College. Okay, yeah. that is a private school she went to. Yeah. So if you're watching, and you have a child who just finished maybe uh, junior high school, yeah, and. You are considering you some of you have in the past asked me this mm -hmm. i have a child who just finished gss i have the money mm -hmm. 
Yeah. Is it possible? You just heard her. She went to a private secondary school here called me. Columbia International. And they can always contact you. You can always contact me. So oh. I've had, um, because I went there, mm -hmm. through me, some of my cousins went through to the same school. My friends of my parents. Because the thing is, you can't blame parents. Some of them have the money. They want the best. But the thing is, who's going to watch them? Who's going to watch over their kids over for their them? Over their kids, mm -hmm. right? So you need somebody you can trust. Somebody who can keep tabs on the kids. Sometimes you miss home food. Yeah, Do you get home it? food. You know, <laughs> like, somebody you can go to and eat some African so food. I had I had cousins, and I knew I know some people who didn't have anybody. Mm, they, were, they were just exploring for themselves. Mm. So some of them, as soon as we were on vacation, straight to the airport, they are going home. They are going home back home to visit. Do you get it? Some of some of us we had family, so maybe you can you can you can connect they had people your family. who were like, oh, mm -hmm. come and spend the Christmas with me. You know, and there are churches to religious, but if you're a Muslim, you'll find a community. Okay. To okay. Get it. Okay. So, yeah. All right. If you're a parent and you're watching and you have a child who just finished maybe junior high school mm -hmm. and you think you want them to come and study in Canada, uh, send me an email, chocomelonea gmail.com. Please make the subject or the heading secondary school education in Canada. Secondary school education in Canada. And um, let me know what you are in. I, I will do my best to co connect you with her. For privacy reasons, I won't put her personal information on yeah. here. Okay, I will review your case and then I'll find out from her if she's okay to um, give you any support. She wouldn't most likely charge you. If she charges <laughs> you, that is even fine. Yeah, I but I mean, she's willing to help anybody yeah. who needs since she went to that same school. Um, that gives me the opportunity to also do more research and compare the list of all the secondary school privates private, and they're, they're compare lots. their fees yeah, and then do more more videos on they're that for my for my friends here. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, oh, all right. Um, is, is there anything I haven't covered? Now, um, so everything was paid for. Uh, the experience, the how was it for you? Uh, did it prepare you for the next step, which is your did. university at, at Toronto, University of Toronto? It did. It did. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um... <laughs> I came yeah, from a just, British... Um, just hold on there for okay. one second. Guys, if you're watching and you are interested in this conversation, you have any questions, consider posting yeah, them there. If you know anybody who has a GSS graduate child or whatever and they're oh, considering okay. sending them yes, to go yes. study and Canada is one of the countries, mm -hmm. uh, um, comment down there, let me know as well. Tag somebody in the video if you think somebody needs this, okay? Um, it's not easy for me to get people like her, <laughs> especially who came to secondary school. Mostly people come here for like University, universities and masters, colleges, yeah. masters, PhD and stuff, right? So I'm really, really happy that she's giving me the chance. Um, we agree not to show her face and I'm happy that none of you have asked <laughs> me to see her face, okay? She's a mother now here. Yeah, we'll talk about all of that later on. Okay. Yeah. Um, did did the training there help you with your transition to University of Toronto? It did. Mm -hmm. It did. Okay. You experienced the whole culture shock. Okay. Do like, you, you get it? There, you're coming from a different background. This, that, that. Um, I came from a British um, system, the school. Okay. I had mates that came from Achimota. Mm -hmm. People came from Wesley Girls that I know from Ghana. Okay. So sometimes in our assignments... These are secondary schools in Ghana, in Ghana by Ghana. the way. Achimota Secondary School, Wesley, Wesley Girls. Wesley yeah. Girls. Secondary Persec. schools in Ghana. I, I had some friends Presbyterian from Boys Secondary School yes, in Ghana. This is secondary school she's mentioning. Uh -huh. Some of them too are from the private schools like the TIS, SOS mm -hmm. College. They, they were all there. And um, I know... Um, you know when you're doing your homework, yeah, you type everything. Oh, here yeah, they type everything. Yeah, you, you have to type. You don't write it to your. <laughs> no, no, no. We wait, have wait, to wait, type wait, wait. your homework. <laughs> please, please wait. In Ghana, we have notebooks. No, you notes. write. You have a pen. Yeah, you write and everything. Yeah. So here you have a laptop or a computer. You have your laptop. They give you a laptop. No, no. no. So you you bring you, your own you bring laptop. your own laptop, right, and so everything yeah. is typed. You have to type. So you can write with your hands, but when you're going to present it to your teacher, you have to type and print, or you have to submit online. Online, okay. Good. And then this was a huge, a big issue for me. And even everybody that <laughs> not just you, even me. Even you know the word plagiarism. Plagiarism, which is copying somebody's work and making not it look like you yes, without not, giving credit thank to the person. You, and not citing. So let me give you my <laughs> All right. At the secondary school. At the secondary were, school. So you see all these things that. are preparing. And you these are things that are here in the university back home in Africa. They don't even take yeah. seriously. So, so we copy and yeah. copy here at the secondary level. Later they are already catch okay, tell me. <laughs> so right. I remember pa Par around we say Rigade. Please go ahead and talk. <laughs> so they gave us a uh, homework. I'll never forget. Mm -hmm. And I was like, 
what on Google, Wikipedia, do you get it or whatever? I don't know. You, you went on Google. Yeah, I was just. Yeah, I'm doing, to me, hey, I'm doing my homework. You mm -hmm. know, let me go on Google. Ba, 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 okay, then I'll type. Okay. Raise your voice a little bit. I want them I'll to hear everything. I'll go on Google. <laughs> I'll go on Google and search. Mm -hmm. So I'll write whatever I'm seeing. I type, copy and paste, copy and paste, and I wrote my essay. Ah. Then there's something called Turnitin. It was a website. I used to, it's a website that yes. checks plagiarism. Thank you. Even me too, I use it. First time that I was, like, oh my God, oh my God. When they give me the report, if it's scan like this, so, red flags. Yes, it's I, put, the I submitted my homework online. So it was red, 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 red. everywhere. Said, oh. The red means they've caught the person for copying somebody's work. They've tracked it. Like, they've see, tracked it. Yeah, to see where you got it from. Where exactly. you got it from. Where you got that information from. So that's when I realized that. Mm -hmm. Chew and pour cannot help you. Say it again. Chew and pour. <laughs> you know, back home, people do chew and, chew and pour. pour. Can you say it in a way that people cram, 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 yeah, memorize, 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 and come and pour? It will never it work. It cannot help you. It yeah. will never work because mm. some of us eat, you go and chew the thing and come and see the quack, quack, quack. Memorize and go and pour you it down. You cannot do it, will mm. not fly. They'll catch you. They'll catch you. So, what I learned early is whatever you, you, you read online. You have to read, read, read it and try and understand. understand you have to digest it. it. Make it your understand own. Understand and put it in your own, own words. words. Instead of copying the person's. And even if you are going to copy, you have to cite and quote. You have to learn how to quote. You have citation, to learn how to quote and MLA. give credit to the person. You remember who, all these citations? Mm, MLA. Yeah. Chicago style. Yes. Chicago. Uh -huh. you have to, I was 16. And you were already learning I was these things. I remember my school. homework. I think that's why my dad was actually proud that, oh, the dollars is actually working. It's working, eh? Because, because the president of Ghana was actually <laughs> caught for copying somebody's speech. No, that was Guys, it. no disrespect. The president of Ghana, <laughs> when he gave his inaugural speech, when he was he sworn in as a president, the speech he gave, he copied somebody's speech. <laughs> Don't mind I'm not saying me. he copied it all. I'm only saying it's a fact. It's alleged. Listen, guys, listen. I'm not saying You're the saying president copied it himself. Right? The speech that he read, whoever wrote the speech for him, they went to copy people other people's speech. <laughs> and then they put it together and brought it to the president of Ghana to read. Don't mind After Jimmy. he read it, Don't eh, mind Jimmy. the opposition party went and then they say, hey, Mr. President, you have copied from a president of US. This one. <laughs> <laughs> Plagiarism has caught the president too. It was a shameful thing. Right. Eh? But as a secondary school, yeah, they've already started 16. learning that. So you had to learn how to Sight. insight, uh, insight. What do you call it? Mm. yeah, citation, mm -hmm. how to write your references, references MLA, Chicago, mm -hmm. style. Chicago style, what was the other one, A something, I mm -hmm. forgot. Yeah, so you APA. Do all, APA, you mm -hmm. have to learn how to do all these. And I was 16, so I remember one time, one of my homeworks, I think it was history. I loved history, so I sent it to my dad, my dad said, hey. No, it's not my dad. My dad, he's not really impressed like that. He, he You know, you cannot... You cannot do like impressive like, like uh, <laughs> was my mom. Mm -hmm. Hey, oh wow, that's what you're doing. Hey, do you get it? Like, you could tell that she, you was, know, proud. she was proud. Okay, some of the work, they were, and they were, don't get me wrong, there are times where I was crying or that I was frustrated because I wasn't getting it. You know, it was tough because anything you have to write, they have to cite. You have to cite anything according, and then I remember, according to according to. <laughs> I remember in one of my homeworks, something I don't remember what class. It was anthropology something anthropology okay yeah, i did all these courses and that's what we something. do at the university though yeah, you were doing so, them at secondary yeah, okay so <laughs> i did that and my 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 teacher was like um i, I should quote where is it coming where from? where is this information said, coming from, from my head <laughs> <laughs> this I should say. these are all part of the training the training mm. so i was frustrated so you have to learn how to put your words together how to write a piece a scholar do you get it yeah. not anything even scholarly on, how to yes. write like a scholar yeah how to write like a scholar even on google when you are searching for let's say um articles you cannot just go on google There's and just go and google, mm -hmm. scholar. google scholar all these mm -hmm. things you have to learn you have to learn them so even if it's get, a website you need to cite the website where you got the information and it's not any type of you can't cite you can't just wikipedia. cite wikipedia they don't accept it <laughs> no it's not information it's not from wikipedia is not scholarly yeah, yeah exactly mm. so you cannot do that mm. so yeah so these were the things that were helping me so imagine so i remember some of my mates are coming from much more time the rest it wasn't easy for them <laughs> all right it, it my, my people <laughs> secondary school see the thing we should learn for here back home university first degree people <laughs> say don't know how to cite to 
Eh? Yeah. Can you imagine within our children they learn for secondary school? Mm -hmm. Chew poor pass. What is atom? Blah 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 blah. What is photosynthesis? Blah 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 Hey, 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 hey. So yeah, so so I guess some of the the kids from and I know like mm -hmm. a school like SOS College, TIS, yeah, mm -hmm. they, they actually do well. The kids are actually right. So the kids that come from the government institution, like the the regular schools in Ghana, in Ghana. yeah, it was tough for them. It was tough. They, I, I, even me, when I was in the high school, you you write your assignment. If it's a um, presentation or something, that's when you type and whatever, whatever. Mm. I forgot it, but yes, so you have to type everything. Type, present, mm. learn how to it's, the it's, fonts you pick. Twelve. Twelve font. There is a specific times, font for academic yeah, yeah, writing. You have to use times the spacing, new Romans, one point five. One point five. Oh, <laughs> my sister, you are taking me back to my days of writing, eh? Hey, even the font, even the everything, oh, you know, yeah. everything, the spacing, the paragraphing, the yeah, indenting. You know, yeah. So it's, it's not it's, easy. It's, it's a good training. Hey. It's a good training. So when I got to university, it was still hard, because, but you, you know I had tasted it a bit. So you were prepared for it. From. It made yeah. it easy for your transition when you got to the yeah, university yeah, of Toronto. Because I knew some people that could not even they were not fast at typing. So yes, so that my was speed. Me. Are you talking to me? <laughs> oh, sorry. Can then. I can I tell you my experience? <laughs> yeah, the people I typing one was one. in my third year in the University of Ghana during mm. my bachelor's degree. Mm. That was when I first had access to a computer. Oh wow. Are you serious? I, um, yeah, you see, you see what she said. Am I serious? <laughs> I never had access to a computer until I was in my third year in the university. That's crazy. That was the first time I was behind a computer and I could type. That's crazy. Right? And that laptop, that laptop was actually a free laptop. Wow. Okay, I will talk about it. Let's, I remember when I was typing, eh, I struggled to look for the next alphabet. You know how when we type in Ghana, oh. we say... A where him B where in other words where A they where B they oh. B, C where C they where Z they your finger go they That's your finger go they look so That's unfortunate. <laughs> when I came here and I was doing my masters, my first paper that I wrote mm. a twenty page paper. Yeah, struggling. They said we should submit it by twelve. No, not even twelve <laughs> mi twelve midnight. They say eleven fifty nine p.m. Yeah, yeah. They don't even say twelve midnight yeah. though. They will say eleven fifty nine p.m. Submit it, and then they'll give you the link. Upload it here. Yeah, turn it in. Yeah, turn That's the first time in, I heard yeah. about that website. And then you upload it, mm -hmm. and then the report. Turn it in will give you the report right away. Oh my oh, goodness! <laughs> the red that I saw, it gave you percentage. It said about fifty percent of it has been copied from somebody else's yeah. source without proper yeah. citation. Yeah. And my heart was already. Now, Tennessee so, sends a copy of the report to you, and then he sends a copy so the to professor. the professor. Yeah. That was the first time I started understanding citation. And then mm. my prof called me to the office, said it looks like... You are struggling. I'm struggling. <laughs> where are you from? <laughs> well, no, he already knows where I'm from. But he was just worried that at the master's level, I didn't know how to... <laughs> yeah, it's unfortunate. Um, it, you know? No, it, it's... Uh, I remember U of T. I, I didn't um, um, experience this, but I had a friend who met a master's or phd mm -hmm. the person was doing research and the person was willing to pay someone to type type okay for, mm -hmm. for mm -hmm. them so people were making money from the international mm -hmm. to me i thought it was normal but it makes sense i mean mm -hmm. you don't have access to a computer from where you're coming oh my goodness from. so it's but here Poverty the kids, no good though. everybody yes, has access to a computer yeah so we had access so that's when i started learning how to type first because imagine you are doing this for like one year, two years before you go to university. It's not easy. It, it's not right? easy. It wasn't easy. Even me, there were times where I would cry. <laughs> but then you you will learn. You learn it. You yeah. Learn it, yeah. But um, and uh, those feedback from my professors really helped me. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Um, but there was somebody th that a Ghanaian that we know. Mm. You you may probably know her. Yeah. Who almost got dismissed in a mm. master's program. Because of plagiarism. Yeah, it's, it's serious. The prof so it's was a, a no deal. nonsense prof. Yes, yes. Said, no, I don't yes. understand why you copy somebody's yes. work and make it yours. It's an offense. They were ready to dismiss her. Yes. It was only the grace of God yes. that helped this girl to stay. So, mm. guys, even though we are talking about secondary school, you can see that she brought in plagiarism even yeah. at the secondary level. Yeah. They don't joke with that stuff here. Yeah. You don't just go and copy Aristotle's work yeah. or Aristotle's quote or Plato's quote or Archimedes' quote. Mm. Or somebody's quote, Kwame Nkrumah's quote, and you make it look like yours, mm -hmm. and then you just go and Google. You just go Google and go and copy and go and paste and make it your assignment. Yeah. You fail. Yeah. They'll fail you, and they may even withdraw you from the school. Yeah, they will. 
because they don't joke with people copying other people's work without giving credit mm -hmm. right anyway th thanks for br bring, bringing that, that that in there um my daughter is two and a half years old mm -hmm. and she already has her own laptop <laughs> we got her google uh, a google uh chrome laptop okay. and i um, have already began teaching her how to turn it on how to you know punch yeah. and stuff but looking at it i'm like wow i was in third year in the university the, the, and i didn't the, even yeah it's, it's a different it's, mm -hmm. generation now the, the kids, different generation the kids now. now are smart they are my, smarter. my three year old mm -hmm. is very way smarter he's too smart mm -hmm. very sharp so you know. Yeah, it's as the world. Yeah, you know, the world like is. Grace, everybody is. I, we are I all making that progress, yes. right? You mm. want the best for your kids. Yes, so exactly. You. What we didn't have, we must give exactly. it to our kids. All right. Thank you for sharing that. Um, Columbia International, International College. College yeah. Okay. There is also another one called Ridley College. Ridley, Ridley College. That's where it I was is in St. Catharines. Yeah, yeah. I'll Do you know how much school. their fees are? I think Ridley is about forty-eight thousand. Forty-eight thousand a year a for year. secondary school. I think I, you said okay. something. I'm not sure. Forty-eight thousand. Okay, guys, you can check it out. Ridley College. R I D. Let me see if I can type it down there. R I D E L Y. Yeah. Look on the screen. I'm typing that right now, so that those of you, it is located in the uh, uh, city of Saint Catharines. It's one of the colleges or secondary school. Yeah. It's a collegiate, right? Um, one of the private secondary schools that a lot of international students come to. Yeah. Um, I know there are people there from Nigeria, yeah, from Ghana, Ghana, people from Brazil, yeah. Colombia, yeah. all America, of them. Everywhere. You know, America everywhere studying there, right? So they um, actually start I, from JK. JK. Some yeah. start even from junior kindergarten. Yes, yeah, so those ones oh, okay. are not boarding. They are not boarding. Okay. Uh -huh. I think the boarding starts from grade seven. Grade, grade seven six, or so. Four, that's when yeah. they start. Okay. But so it means somebody Canadians. can bring their child yes. at the GSS level yes. to this school here. Yes. That's good. That's good. That's good. <laughs> and then when you finish, how was it for you to get your papers? Was it easy? Like the transition. Okay. Obviously, it's, you school it's, here. You did yeah, all of that, so, so it becomes easy, right? So I went to so after school here. I went to U of T. Did mm -hmm. my undergrad. Okay. And then this is the, it's just a normal system straightforward you finish you get your three-year working permit out of the three work permit yes. okay out of the three years you're supposed to work for one year mm -hmm. 12 months mm -hmm. right exactly one year exactly one year and then apply apply for your, for your permanent, permanent residence. residence yes okay and, then and it wasn't year. it wasn't stressful for you right it, mine was a bit iffy because i wasn't getting you see getting a job to is a, is a different ball game mm -hmm applying for jobs to as a full-time job mm -hmm. and they expect it's not any kind of job to that you can't go and do any cleaning or Fuck receptionist or, or something mm -hmm. they, they want a job that requires a four-year degree like undergraduate okay that you matches see, are, like what you studied and stuff that like matches that. Okay. What, what you studied mm -hmm. right or something that requires a four-year degree or college mm -hmm. to get it uh-huh and then you have to be in that work for a year okay okay yeah all right, thank you. And then you have your papers now. Yes, yes. And you have kids in Canada. Yes, I'm married. I have kids in Canada. You're married. How many kids? I have three. Three kids. Okay, yeah. congratulations thank there, right? Thank you. And your three-year-old boy is very smart. Yes, very, 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 very smart. Very, very smart. Very smart. Yeah. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Now, looking back, coming to Canada, was it worth it? It was worth it for me. I'm grateful to God for the opportunity that my parents gave me. It's not every parent... They are rich people who mm -hmm. never send their kids abroad. Okay. Be, some people believe that you can make it in Ghana. In Ghana and I yeah. do believe you can make it in Ghana. Mm -hmm. But some people also want to, you know, they just want the best for their kids. Why mm. not? Because right now we live in a globalized w well, world. Yeah. There are no boundaries. Yeah, no boundaries. You don't know where your kid is going to go okay. tomorrow. Mm -hmm. You just want the best. Okay. One thing I, <laughs> I should have taken serious was French. Okay. Looking back, if you wish you, back, you took your French, I should have taken my French very serious, mm. very very mm. serious. Come on, Sava. Be a mercy. Oh, at least you have a bit of it. <laughs> I mean, I'm good. You know, the, just a little. So yeah, you see, yeah, and, yeah, in, yeah. I, and it's not even me. I always blame the Ghana system because I feel like even before I went to GIS, I went to the normal primary school to uh, like public school public, yeah, mm. like Ghana. it was an international school but it was a normal before i mm. went to the british um, system okay but i feel like ghana the system they teach you french to just go and write exam they don't teach you french to, like to you speak. said two point and pass yeah they don't memorize it's just for you to mm. go write your bc or whatever mm. it is and pass and get one do you know what i mean yeah but it's 
you know you have as parents now i know that you just have to be intentional about your kids about your, your kids and what you do for them yeah i want my kids to be bilingual okay so so yeah. you think it's a good thing that we are sending our kids to french school it, oh, mm -hmm. it's the uh, yeah, some Joanna, people are like, oh, arrive from the infancy we send yeah, them french yeah yeah because um even with me at home, my my son didn't do daycare. Okay. Um, I I teach them home. Oh. So yeah, so I teach him and home, he's, home yeah, schooling yeah, them. Yeah, okay. But he's going to start. He's going to start very soon. Kindergarten soon. soon. Nice, so, nice. Um, you have to be intentional. I want them to speak French. So I was even telling my husband I wanted us to relocate to a province where they speak French. Mm. But then I heard that it depends you, on the French immersion school. The child yeah. will be fine. So. Yeah. So what what we decided we were actually initially going to send our kids to um english schools but okay. later on like my workplace for example mm. there was a very good opportunity that came like mm, posting that you came, see? that my boss reached out to me they were considering me mm, but just french. because my french was not good mm. at least i needed to have some french so i looked at it and looked at the salary i'm like wow just, just because of french and you know the government's <laughs> jobs in canada yeah. if you want a government job french you have is to be bilingual. really bilingual yeah did you hear that government jobs government in canada job. because canada is bilingual if you want to work in the government you need to be bilingual. having french plus english is a plus so it's the francophones those coming from those the those of you who are the french they, 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 they are get blessed. those jobs a lot they because they are francophone oh and they are aggressive God. with learning english yes they are they willing try. to learn english. We, we don't want to we don't want to we even make we fun are just, of ourselves when we are speaking yeah. the french but yeah, yeah. Mm, le pantalon. Anyway, <laughs> <laughs> when we were in junior high school, our friend teacher, let me use this opportunity to give him a high five. One of the best I ever met. Wow. He only taught me for two years, but wow. he was the best I ever had. Wow. Uh, Mr. Uriel Ahiable. Wow. Mr. Uriel Ahiable, currently the head teacher for uh, one of the schools in the Mamprobi area there. Wow. I forgot the name of the school. He is the best I ever had. God that man him. will come, he will pour his heart out, teaching us French. Wow. And I remember my mates, eh? most of them will be sitting in the back and be making funny, <laughs> funny jokes and calling him nicknames. Monsieur Le Pantalon, Monsieur Le Pantalon, giving him names. When we grow up, we see the photos of it too. Meanwhile, Ghana, we are surrounded by Francophone oh, countries, Burkina, Ivory Coast, Togo, and yet we don't even take French serious. When we travel out, then we see the importance of language. Huh? Yeah, oh, language anyway, yeah. yo, yeah, all right. Your your parents, your mom mostly was visiting you every three, four months. Yes. She needed to come on a visa then. Was it easy yeah. for her to get a visa it to come was, and visit you? It was. If your child is in school, mm. you can prove that your child is in school. You get a letter from the school stating that your child is in school. How do you get it? Mm -hmm. Do you get a visa? Because your parents are going to visit your child. So yeah. it's easy. That yeah. one, there's a no two way. Okay. You know, with the Canadians, they don't joke with They don't joke with family. They don't joke with family and kids. That's true. So Let me know. use this opportunity to say this. It is even more easy for, you to get for a parent to get a visa a visitor's visa parents and siblings and parents and siblings and i mean the yeah, the siblings family. of the child who yeah. is schooling here yeah. immediate family right yeah. it is way easier for them to get visas to come and visit their children especially if they are below the age of 18, 18. yeah canada know they joke with that thing because yeah. they know the kids are under age if anything happens to them it's It'll a be, big yeah. problem here yeah. right so if you are in a secondary school here or you are in a junior high school like grade seven eight nine here mm. and your parents are coming to visit you is the easiest they will always easily give them the visa because yeah. they know those kids are teenagers if anything goes wrong no, a lot of people are going to be sued yeah. <laughs> right yeah. if you don't if they don't give you anyway you can actually legally sue them for denying you to come and see your child who is mm. under age yeah. <laughs> anyway but i hope you guys enjoyed it um yeah. i don't think there is anything we have in color no, we've covered no, almost everything right no, no. Yeah, papers and how you came in family, you've covered almost everything there. Yeah. Now I'm going to ask you this question. You are no longer a student. You've even finished university, you have your own family. Yeah. I'm going to ask you this question. Yeah. You can choose to answer or not. <laughs> Two questions I'm going to ask you. Yeah. One, when you were in the secondary school yeah. and friends were breaking the curfew and going did to club something? and stuff. Did I do some? Did you feel tempted to do some? And did you do what? But I told did you, you that... 
That yeah. was the first time I went to a club. I okay. Remember I told you that? Yeah, that was the first time you went I to a club. I went to a club. I didn't, I didn't catch the way oh, you said it. Oh. I didn't catch it. Yeah. yeah, I told you. That was the first time I went to a club. I said, wow. Mm-hmm. Remember I was like, oh, wow. Because where I'm coming from, I was, I was, yo. <laughs> was it a Friday or Saturday? It was a weekend. I think it was a weekend. Friday. I don't remember. Friday or Saturday. There was a club around that place called Club 77. That thing has been closed. You even know the name. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but the thing about it was, um, I think most of them were the students uh, around. You won't go and meet all these old old people okay yeah just young your people yeah that was and then it, when, when did you like the experience did you feel like going back or then you were like no no no, no I, mean, I, I was very inquisitive i was curious okay because I, you remember i was telling you that i hadn't you know experienced that but the thing is as parents you have to do your part to ground your kids and teach them so right their morals is strong. do you get it mm. i knew i had boundaries for myself as knowing the child of who i was i wasn't going to mess up to mm-hmm. get it uh-huh. So, I mean, at the end of the day, your child will still be exposed to the world. Yeah. Jesus. It's about the foundation they have. It's about the foundation. foundation. The and you had a good foundation. Yes. So, by the grace of God. That is why you want that. your kids to even go to a Catholic school. I want my kids, <laughs> yes. If you heard me, I yeah. want my kids to go to a Catholic uh, yeah, school. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's the first question there. Now, the second question, the second question, which yeah. is my last question. When are you going back, back to Ghana? When are, you, when are you relocating to Ghana? Relocating? Yes. I will eventually. Mm. When my kids are a bit older. When they are a bit older. Yeah, I want like, to. Like when the three year old is four years old, five years old. Maybe when they are. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I will go. I'll go in there. I'll go. <laughs> I can't stay here forever. <laughs> Home you surely go, but you don't know where. Home is home. Home is home. And I also want to go and contribute my quota. Your quota. I would want to go back. I want to do stuff in Ghana. I would want to. I actually want to work at the right time, I guess, at the right? right time. You go back I want at the right to build time. myself. Okay. Because right now my kids are small. I'm taking care of them. Mm-hmm. I want to build myself in my career mm-hmm. professionally so that I'll be marketable when okay. I go to Ghana. So, That's yeah. the same answer I'll give you if you ask me the same yeah. question. I don't think it's just wise to just go back no, you need you to need make sure that you, you have a plan be. in place because when we go back the realities are things are not that easy it's not easy yeah yeah yeah, yeah. so yeah. someday we are all going to go back right eventually i don't just don't know whether you will go first or i'll go first but at least you're all <laughs> maybe gonna go i'll back. go but i don't know <laughs> <laughs> yes, all right i yes. hope you guys enjoy this session this is the addition for secondary school coming here to study she schooled at columbia international school in hamilton yeah. in ontario she came here from Ghana. And when she was in Ghana, she went to GIS, which is Ghana International School. It's one of the top private schools in Ghana. Actually, they don't even run on the Ghana education curriculum. They operate the British curriculum. So she was already exposed to international curriculum. And then her parents decided that she would come to Canada and study. And she's been a very, very good kid mm-hmm. from that time. Even though she went to the club once, <laughs> she didn't mess up. You can assure yourself that she was in the club on Saturday night. She came home on Sunday morning, had a Friday, quick nap, Friday. And, and then the next Sunday morning, she because was in church, church right? We had a youth church. Right? At, youth on church. Saturday. She was there. Yeah. She was probably in the choir. She did her stuff. You know, <laughs> confess to God. I didn't sing. I was in the club. I didn't say. You know, I mean? like, you know, our kids will always get exposed. Yes. We cannot control them, <laughs> but at least we can give them a good foundation. Exactly. That's the moral. Yet. That is why, if you're a parent and you are sending your children here, your biggest task is to make sure you give them a good training at home. Because yeah. when they come here, the temptations are wild. Oh, everywhere. Kids from all over the world, different parts of the world, some with no morals, mm. they are the ones going to live with your kids. Mm. If you give them good foundation, you can rest assured when they come here. Mm. Me, I would have been messed up when I came here. Mm. But my Christian foundation is actually what? Because when yes. you come here, the temptations are so high. You can literally do anything. Yeah. Freedom. One day, your child whom you sent here, who is a girl, may just wake up and tell you, Mommy, how are you? Oh boy. Now I'm no longer Josephine. I'm Joseph. I'm Joseph. God forbid. <laughs> right? And these things are now normal in most places. Yeah. But I'm saying that if you don't raise your kids well, remember when they grow up, and they are between the ages of 16, 17 to 23. That mm-hmm. is when the wild hormones are released. Yeah. And they want to just explore, explore everything, right? So do your best. Don't just send them overseas. Mm. And the parents, I think your parents did the smartest thing. They made sure they hooked you up with the right communities, yeah. you know. You had cousins here. You had people on campus. You had yeah. pastors looking out. Mm-hmm. So if you are sending your kids here to make sure you have people here you can trust who can keep an eye on them. Yeah. But you might be sleeping 
in Africa, maybe without even electricity that night. And your kid will be chilling somewhere there, yeah? <laughs> on your money, <laughs> on your money, yeah? God bless you and thanks for watching Choco Melon, yeah? yeah? It's a nice addition. I hope you enjoyed it. If you have any questions, let me know. She's also willing to help anybody who wants to go to that same school. Uh, send me an email, chocolatemillionaire at gmail.com. If you're a parent and you think this conversation is for you, yeah. I'll do my best to hook you guys up. And then if she's able to give you some information that helps, you can work with it. Yeah. Uh, I also did, let me just acknowledge this person here. Uh, yesterday when I did my live video, my Q&A, this gentleman here, Nana Minta, uh, messaged me about medicals. I think he passed his medical exams wow. with a visa application or something like that. And today, look on the screen right now. He said he has gotten an email from the visa office to submit his passport. Oh, Congratulations, congrats. Nana. Congrats. Remember when I told you yesterday, when you pass your medicals, it normally means you should be getting ready. Your no passport way. will be requested. Um, I don't know when you're going to be coming to Canada, but I know when you come here, you definitely will be in touch. Oh. And I'll be more than happy to connect with you. All right? Um, may you make the most of it. Amen. And when you come here, stay faithful to your partner. Because mm? yeah. some of us, when we come here, we are not too. We mess up. Mm? <laughs> mm? May God keep you to be disciplined Amen. when you come here and keep to your goals. Amen. So that when you finish, you don't die in Canada. We we'll all go back to Africa <laughs> and build Africa. God bless you. Thanks for watching Choco Melonia. I love you all. From me and my friend here, we love you. And remember, Bye. we don't need more money. We need more wisdom. Wisdom makes life easy. God bless you. Take care. Bye-bye.